autograph. Listen, but, go. you know what, Mensan? Let him finish his argument and then we'll call it a day. These are support. These are people believing in crucifixion. Ace Lincoln, Michael. Yeah. Richard Lee. In their controversial and critical acclaim. Okay. Who is he? No, the, no, no, the holy blood and the holy grail. Listen but up. Who is he though? No, listen. This is historical like him. I know the scholars. Mention like historical test in the Nag Nagamadi scrolls. I've read them. And I've state read that them. these I've manuscript them. contains manuscript entitled the treaties have set. Yeah. Here it is mentioned that Jesus was not crucified, even though a crucifixion did take place. I'm saying the crucifixion take place. Yeah, but I'm saying your identification is wrong. But so my friend, my, so much to say my friend, those gospels, the night of army gospels, yeah. I've read all the gospels. I've read all these, right? I've got, I've got lists here. I've got notes on them. Yeah. When you read these guys, these these Gnostic gospels are quoting, right? That scholar when he's saying they say Jesus didn't die, but they're quoting the four gospels, which showed you the Gnostics. Listen, the Gnostics believe. That the four gospels were authority. Yeah. So this scholarship, this scholarship, this scholarship, this scholarship, you have not just Jesus Burnabout, you have many different beliefs. Some people no, say no, many different beliefs. Simon, there's many different this beliefs. This scholarship is going, it's not good scholarship, bro. Honestly, yeah. man, it's not good scholarship. You've got to read the Gnostic gospels yourself. Go to the primary sources. Read Josephus yourself. The oldest gospel, the oldest yeah. Bible in the not world. Not just the scholars. The oldest gospel in the world. I quote Scott. I the oldest gospel in the world. Do you know where it is now? The oldest gospel in the world, yeah. You know, P45 in, P, it's, it's in Lyrans, Rylands, the oldest, the oldest Bible in the world. The oldest Bible in the world, yeah. We have Sinaiticus and Vaticanus. The oldest gospel in the world, you know what it is? I've, I've, to, I've told it's you. It's well known. There's an ITV documentary with the guy on my record. I've told you. I've told you. In, 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 in Greece. In Greece. No. The oldest one is no, in Greece. No, we have P45 in, 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 in Manchester. That's the oldest piece of the gospel that we have. Yeah, yeah but I'm saying there's okay. narratives there. When you, when you try to make it like, okay, then no. Everyone who's, who's, who's said that he died, who said, who said that Jesus died. That's not historical. It's been it's been diverse since someone died, but some people say it's not him. My friend, my friend, I respect you, yeah, and I really great respect to you talking to me, yeah. But let me ask you a question. You don't have to answer it, right? Have you read the Gnostic Gospels? Have you read them all? I don't read them all. No, that's what you need to do if you're going to enter a debate on that subject. You've got to read it. I've read them. I can tell you that the scholars are wrong, and I challenge you to go and read. Why are they wrong? Because you read the Gnostic no, Gospels. No, because if you read the Gnostic Gospels, the Gospels. Gospels, the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, do not quote the Gnostic Gospels, right? But the Gnostic Gospels are always quoting the four Gospels. That tells you that the Gnostic Gospels believe the four Gospels were authoritative and they came after the four Gospels. The four Gospels are earlier historical source. Four Gospels? No. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, and, and they're the earliest historical source and they match what Josephus is talking about. This book just, that, no, but, but it's a Bartram about Josephus. So. Bartram said, just Jesus didn't mention nothing much about Christ. No, but but Irma be nice to you. You know what he says? Jesus mentioned nothing much about Christ. He only said about Christ in passing by. No, but Irma. He didn't mention nothing about no, much about Christ. There's a, in Josephus, yeah, there's a bit where he says he rose again. Most scholars don't believe that bit. But but Irma believes, but Irma and most scholars believe that in Josephus, when it says he died on the Pontius Pilate, but Irma and most scholars believe that. Right? Scholarship is split between three camps. The first camp say it's all true about what Josephus says that Jesus died and rose again. The second camp, listen, the second camp, the biggest camp, is that it's half right Josephus, yeah? And someone interpolated, put a little bit in about the resurrection, yeah? And then there's a small minority to say it's not Josephus. Listen, listen. Victor Vermeer is the world authority on this. I'm asking Let me finish, man. Victor Vermeer is the world authority on this, who recently died, says that the vast majority of scholars in the middle who say that Jesus died and the Pontius Pilate says, Jesus died. Uh, sorry, that Josephus. It is the wrong Jesus Jesus no, Josephus said that Jesus died in the Pontius Pilate. The vast majority of scholars agree with that. Okay, they agree with that. All right, I'm going to go. Yeah. I'm going to go. Yeah. Respect to you. Thanks for debating. Take out the oldest book. It's okay.